make some notes for solving. trig equations. Okay. First thing, and some of these steps you're eventually not going to do anymore, but at the beginning they're very important to help you understand what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to determine which quadrants theta is in using the cast rule. So we're going to find out, in this question, tan is negative. According to the cast rule, which tells us where everything is positive, Tan is positive in 3 and 1, so it must be negative in 2 and 4. We're going to then draw tri triangles in these quadrants. And then we're going to solve for the reference angle. As you get better at these, you don't have to necessarily draw the triangles every time. You can go directly to solving for the reference angle. But again, at the beginning, having drawn this is really going to help you understand what's going on. And then once you have your reference angle, you can use that to solve for the angles you're looking for. So there's our steps. Here's how we're going to start off. Here's our question. We want to find the angles theta. Oh, you want me to go back for a second? There you go. All right. So when we're looking at this, we see that tan of theta is negative. So that means it's in quadrant 2 and quadrant 4, which we already determined before. Now, step 2 says draw those, draw those out. Draw 1 in quadrant 2, draw a triangle in quadrant 2, and draw a triangle in quadrant 4. Again, our triangles always go to the nearest x-axis because they have to have a reference angle. Now, tan is what over what? Opposite over adjacent. So in this triangle, the opposite side would be 4. The adjacent would be 3. In this triangle, the opposite side would be 4. The adjacent would be 3. So if you were trying to solve for your reference angle, because that's part of part 2, and you had this triangle, it becomes a grade 10 question. How do I find out that angle in a right angled triangle? Well, in that triangle, tan of my reference angle, opposite. Notice the negative isn't there anymore because we're talking about an actual triangle. There's no negative signs. Tan of my reference angle is 4 over 3. If you were solving for that, you'd do tan inverse of both sides. Type that into your calculator. And you get 53 degrees. And it says to the nearest degree, so I'll round it all red. So now we know that this reference angle here is 53 degrees. And this reference angle here, because they're the exact same triangle, they're both 53 degrees. 
Now that we've found our reference angle, we can go to our step three that we wrote down. We can figure out what are these actual angles. What is theta equal to? From the first picture, how would you figure out that red angle? 180 minus 53. 127. That'll be our first answer. From our second triangle, how would you figure out that, that angle? 360 minus 53, and we get 307 degrees. So this would always be on a calculator section unless the question started off, and I'll just do a quick one here. as one of the angles you already know. So let's solve for theta here. Uh, sine of theta equals negative 1 half. You can write this down if you'd like, or you can just watch. <coughs> Sometimes they'll tell you at the end like this to say you're looking between 0 and 360 degrees. Sometimes the question might just say between 0 and 180. Then they're only looking in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. Or sometimes the question will say, let's look from 0 to 270. Then you're just looking quadrant 1, quadrant 2, and quadrant 3. Now, sine is negative. So step 1, we think about the cast rule. Where is sine negative? Which quadrants? 3 and 4. Because sine is positive in 1 and 2, so sine is negative in 3 and 4. And if we drew a picture for this in quadrant 3, opposite over hypotenuse, here's our reference angle, and 1 in quadrant 4, reference angle still there, opposite over hypotenuse is 1 over 2. And this is, if we are solving for this angle, Do we have 1 half as one of the values we have memorized? Yes. What was that angle? 30 degrees. So now we know that this reference angle is 30 degrees here and 30 degrees there. What are these actual angles? This one will be? 210. This one will be 330. So the questions you can do for this one are 14, 15, 16, and 19. 